Hello and welcome to YouTube channel of tutorialsvideo.com. In this video tutorial, we will be covering Apache Active MQ administration part and we will have an overview and walkthrough of uh, web console provided by Active MQ. In this tutorial, we will be first uh, looking into a uh, high level overview and walkthrough of uh, Apache Active MQ web console. And I will be explaining uh, different options that are available as part of uh, Active MQ Web Console. We will see that how we can create our destinations, including queues and topics. We will see that how we can use uh, Web Console to send any test messages to these destinations. And then we will uh, explore it further to see how we can browse our queues and topics, how we can uh, perform various type of operations, including how we can uh, delete, how we can copy, or how we can move the messages between different destinations, how we can push the queues at topics, and we will also see that how we can create uh, durable uh, topic subscriptions. So basically this uh, video tutorial is uh, uh, part of the playlist uh, where I created uh, videos about Apache Active MQ. If you are not clear that uh, you know, what exactly Apache Active MQ is and what are the basic concepts associated with Active MQ, I will suggest you to watch my other video where I explained a basic construct of Apache Active MQ, its use cases, and uh, several fundamental concepts that will be helpful for you. So, without further ado, let's now jump into the uh, Active MQ web console and see the things in real. When you install a Apache Active MQ on your local machine, by default, if you don't change any configuration, it will be available on port 8161. And uh, from the browser, you can access the web console by uh, typing the host name, which will be localhost uh, if it's installed uh, uh, locally. And then you will specify the port, which will be 8161 by default, slash admin slash index.jsp. So uh, you will be asked to log into the, use, uh, to the web console uh, using the default admin admin credentials. And once you log into Apache Active MQ web console, this is the screen that you will see, which is the home page where you will see the basic information about the broker that you have. You can see that it has the name of the broker, which is localhost in my case. And then you will see the version number of the broker and you will have some uh, other information, including the uptime of your uh, Apache Active MQ broker and information about the usage of the uh, storage as well as memory. All right, so once you have uh, reached to this homepage, after that, let's now explore uh, various options that are available as part of this uh, ActiveMQ web console. Let's click on this uh, queues option from the menu bar. And you can see here that we have uh, any of the queues that are already avail available, we can see. For example, in my case, I have a queue already created with the name test queue. And if you see, uh, we can find that uh, number of pending messages for this queues, uh, this queue is zero number of consumers as well as messages in queued and message dequeued, everything is zero because this uh, queue hasn't uh, got received any message. So if you want to create a new queue, uh, we can simply uh, go to this option of uh, creation. So we will create another queue. Let's uh, create a queue as tutorials media and just click on create. So once you click on create, you can see that we have now our new queue that has been created. If you click on the queue, uh, you, you, you will see that uh, if there are any consumers for the queue and also uh, it will have all the browsing of that queue, including any messages that are there. Right now it has no messages. That's why you see nothing. So once we have created the queue, now I will show you that how we can uh, perform various operations, including how we can send the messages to these, this queue and then how we can uh, look into the details of that message and how we can play around with that message. So if you see here, we have an option uh, send to. If you click on this send to option, which is uh, under the operations, you, you will be able to uh, specify all the details for sending a JMS message to this queue. Here you can specify a correlation ID, which can um, correlate this message if you need. And I will specify one, two, three for testing purpose. There are various other options which are not uh, mandatory. For example, you can specify reply to queue. If you want that uh, once these messages are consumed from the queue by the consumer and any reply that is sent should be uh, returned back to some specific reply queue. And if you don't specify, then it will be going back to the default queue, reply queue. Okay, so you have options, for example, uh, you can specify the priority of this message. You can specify time to live. This time to live uh, will decide the expiration of this um, message, whether you want uh, this message to be persisted forever 
unless it has been consumed by the consumer or you want to specify certain duration after which if this message is not consumed by the consumer it should be automatically removed from the queue and then there are various other options that you can utilize as well and then you if you go down you have the option message body here you can specify whatever message you want to send uh, uh, in this queue so let me write a sim simple string here and the message will go like this please don't forget to subscribe my channel so this is a simple message that i'm writing and i'll just click on send button so as soon as you click on send now you can see that this tutorial speedia queue has a number of pending messages one and messages in queued also one if you click on this browse option you will be able to see the details so if you see the browse option you can uh, find the message with a message id this correlation id and it's persistent it by default it's non-persistent then priority is zero because we didn't specify any priority and uh, we have option to delete the message as well so if you click on the bot uh, on the message id then you should be able to see the details of the message so here you can see that the message id uh, has been provided the destination queue correlation id and all other details that we specified and if you go down here you can see the message details which specifies the body that we specify uh, mentioned uh, while sending the message and if you see here for message we have various actions that are available you can delete this message then you have option to copy this message if you want to copy this message to another queue and you have the option to move this message so we we can select any other queue or topic to which we want to uh, perform this operation so i want to choose test queue i want to just copy this message to test queue as well so it says are you sure and i'll click ok now if i go back to the queues you can see that the test queue that was already there now this message has been copied to test queue as well so now this pending message is available in both uh, tutorial speedia queue and test queue now let me do one thing i want to create a topic so if you are not aware uh, what exactly the difference between queues and topics uh, is i will again suggest you to please uh, watch my previous video on this playlist where i explain in detail uh, these basic concepts which are associated with active mq so I will click on the topic and I will create a new topic. So let me create a new topic with the name Tutorialspedia topic. And I click on create. So as soon as we created this topic, we will be able to see it here. We can see that this topic has been created and it has zero uh, consume subscribers, consumers and zero number of messages in queued and dequeued. Okay, now let me go back to uh, the queue and from the tutorial Speedia queue, I'm going to browse it again and the same message which was there, I want to perform another action on this uh, and what I want to do is that I want to see if I can copy or move it to another uh, topic or not. But you can see that it's showing me only queue. This means that uh, from the web console you are able to copy or move the message to, to the destination of same type if it's queue or topic but in this case since this is a queue so you can move it to queue only you cannot move it to a topic so what i will do i will go to the topic which i created with the name tutorialspedia and i will choose this option send to so i'll click on this send to and i will specify the details of the message the destination is uh, tutorialspedia topic let me specify correlation id 456 and other than this i will choose this persistent delivery checkbox to true and top uh, queue or topic here i will choose topic and other than that i, I don't want to make any other changes here uh, even priority and time to live i will keep things uh, uh, as is and in the body i will just write something test message to the topic and i'll click on send button so when I click on send button, now if you go to uh, this uh, list, you can see that this tutorial Speedia topic has one message which has been enqueued to this uh, particular topic. So if you now go to this uh, tutorial Speedia topic, sorry, if you go to the topics and if you select this tutorial Speedia topic and here, if you go to active subscribers you should not be able to see any subscriber because we did not create any subscriber yet so what we will do we will choose this subscribers option and here we will create a new durable subscriber 
So this topic subscriber will be created with uh, I will specify a client ID as a test client and let's name it also as test client and I will specify the name as tutorialspedia topic which is the name of the topic and JMS selector I'm not going to specify anything if you want to do the filter operation on the messages to uh, to subscribe to only some specific uh, messages based on the, your filter criteria you can use JMS selector as well okay so we will just click on create durable topic subscriber so as soon as we create the subscriber now you can see this test client subscriber is there and if we just refresh it you see that it doesn't have any messages in queued or dequeued. Now, if you if we go back to the topics and we select the same topic that we created previously, tutorials PDA topic. Now you 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 should be able to see that it has one number of in the number of consumers and in the message in queued both it is showing one because it has now one active uh, one one consumer has been associated with this particular topic. So if we go to this option active uh, subscribers we can see that test client is the active subscriber for this now let's uh, uh, create send another message to this topic i'll go to tutorials pdr topic and i'll choose the send option and let me specify 789 as correlation id and for the message body i will specify second topic message and i'll just click on send button so I have sent the message if I go to subscribers if you see here for the test client number of in uh, now in queue counter and pending queue size is one because this message that we just sent is now in queued and it's pending since we don't have uh, consumed it so it is still pending for this particular uh, topic subscriber so if you see here we have plenty of other options also available in this uh, web console uh, i'm not covering each and everything in detail but you can explore it further like we have uh, we can see all the details of the connections any connections from the consumers or from the producers that are uh, uh, currently connected to this active mq will be showing here will be shown here right now we don't have any connection uh, from any of the applications so right now we don't see anything and then you have several other options uh, if you see here on the right side you have option to uh, see the in the graphical as well as an xml manner uh, for all the queues if you see here you see two queues queue uh, tutorials media and test queue and if you see topics you can see the topics as well it shows you option to to see all the topics in xml format as well and uh, if you want to uh, as i explained you previously you can use the send option to send messages to either queues or topics and if you if you want you can further explore it and try to see how you can achieve a certain expiry for the messages for example if you specify time to live let's put time to live to 30 and for the destination i'm going to specify tutorial speed or queue so i want to send a message to queue which should be automatically deleted after 30 seconds so i'm not going to change anything in the body i'll just send the message and now if you see here this tutorial speed or queue has two pending messages but you will see that uh, after 30 seconds second message that we just sent since it has uh, time to live our expiry specified so this message will be automatically gone from this particular queue so we will refresh it and we will be observing you can see now that uh, this message is no more in the pending we have only one pending message which was the previous message so this message because of the expiry time uh, it has been automatically removed and it has been dequeued so that's it from this simple video on Apache ActiveMQ administration part. I hope that the information that has been conveyed through this video will be helpful for you. For further reading, you can always refer to my website tutorialspedia.com. And also don't forget to subscribe to this channel as uh, more videos like this will be uploaded in this channel in future. Thank you very much.